Okay, I think we're good. Awesome. Um, hello everyone, and I know it's been a while. I saw, so I, if, if none of you have noticed, I'm a huge Dragon Ball Super card game fan. I play the game not as much as I wish I could, but um, I, I really do love it. Um, and Series 8, I've been waiting for that. It's coming out in November s some date. And I believe like right before Black Friday. And Malicious Machinations. So that's a thing. Uh, we knew that for about a little less than a year. But it's finally, we finally get an announcement trailer. So I seen this announcement trailer and I'm, I'm watching like the first 10 seconds and I thought this would make an awesome video. You know, let me just stop right here and just see what's up. I wished I made a uh, reaction to set seven, series seven. When I saw that Nappa, that was just the funniest thing, man. Um, but we have set eight, you know, better late than never. And let's let's see what's up. So let's let's actually maximize this. So we're gonna maximize that. Uh, wait, there we go. Terrible warriors burst by the All right. So it's, it's going to be around the androids, right? It's interesting. So this is why I thought it was interesting. They haven't shown uh, Android 21 here. We have Hachiak, uh, 16, 17, 18, Super Baby 2. Oh, Future Boma. Okay. Who the hell was that? Okay. Okay. Boma is a leader. No way. Yes. SS4? Oh my god, please, please. Oh my god, we're getting SS4s, yes. More Uiro. Yes, finally. Oh my god, please give me a, a go SS4 Gogeta Secret Rare. Dude, these cars are crazy. There we go. Yes, yes. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. There's so much to look at and it just goes so fast. Hacha killed everyone. How are they going to make him balanced? Oh, oh, so he's black cards. Offering, yes. Yeah. You either draw two or they have to dump a life. <laughs> Revive? Oh no. No, no. That's going to be so annoying. Oh my god, we gotta go. Noble heroes? Right. I ignoble sounds so ridiculous. Oh, that's cool. It looks like they're attacking each other. Is that secret rare? Three secret rares? Are you kidding me? Okay, oh my god, we gotta, we gotta go back. Oh, there's so much. Oh, yes. Yes, all the yes in the world. I think I saw Vegeta's hairline. I mean, it was, it was, you know it's Vegeta's hairline. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. There's so much. Yes, I, I think I saw Android 21 a Bad Omen. I've seen that card. Oh, so good. So good. Yeah, so we're gonna get the stamp, stamp stuff. I mean, if pretty much if it's not a stamp leader, then just go home. Of course, the booster box. Yeah, but those aren't those aren't crazy at all. Yeah, it's. Was that a 7-star Dragon Ball? Oh, snap. That actually might be money. 
But, <laughs> so, there you go. Set, uh, I was gonna say set seven. Uh, seven star. Oh my god. Just let this video end already. I wanna go back. Okay. November, yeah, somewhere in November. Okay. What the hell? Okay, whoa, whoa, okay. Bulma's getting a leader card. That's ridiculous. Multicolored red yellow. I don't know who that blonde female in the bottom right is. Uh top left kind of looks like a fount of spirit. But it's a red card, and uh, obviously that's gonna that's that's an extra card, um, or at least it really looks like an extra card. Uh, leaders on the bottom left, I believe that's the leader. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same, same pose. Um, we're oh we have the we have the Goku the Goku BR from the movie doing the whole uh, God Freeze on Broly, and that's a battle card. Dude, Beerus looking like an extra card. And okay, so so we're done here. That's pretty interesting. And it doesn't show the effects, right? Yeah, okay, that was the leader card. Yes, yes, SS4s. Oh my god, give me a freaking. I've been saying this. Dude, I've been saying this. If we get an SCR Gogeta. Like I'll I'll probably buy two cases. Serious, I said either either SS4, SCR, Gogeta, or just nothing. I don't care. Just just give me SCR, Gogeta, please. That freaking SS3 Gogeta is trash. How do you make the pre-evolution version the one of the most broken cards in the game? But then when it comes to to the SS3 version, which is the most just the 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 I don't want to say prettiest uh the most magnificent looking card seriously it's a mirror card it's a card that looks like a mirror dude it's so good and yet the card itself the effects are so trash oh my god I'm I'm uh, I'm, I'm disappointed I I really am disappointed but even okay if we don't get an SCR Gogeta fine um uh, I know, uh, I know people have been wanting an SCR Vegeta, like just Vegeta, you know, we don't want this whole, um, uh, or, oh, S SCR SS4 Vegeta, yes, okay, let's, let's just continue, yes, okay, so he's a battle card, he's a battle card, Super Baby 2's battle card, uh, top right looks like an extra card, bottom right's definitely extra card, left looks like a extra i mean i'm just going by how um i don't know like I, the artwork could mean anything really it could mean anything but like for some reason you can kind of feel when it's an extra card like that bottom right one you that screams extra card that does not look like a battle card whatsoever top right might be battle card bottom left might be battle card top left looks like extra um, Dr. Yudo. Sounds very Spanish. Yes, uh, I, I I love the effects. Let me, I gotta see this again. Yes. You asked for her, you got her. Like, Alright, I mean. Yeah, you know, I, I, I politely asked. I was like, please give me a 21. And they're like, you asked for her, you got her. Alright, cool. That's the thing. Um, five drop, or at least a five drop, uh, Android 21 battle card. That's pretty cool. Uh, we got 17, we got 16. I hope, oh my god, I hope there's like a 16 battle card or extra card that it's like, like, you can like attach this card to an, uh, uh, your opponent's battle card, like Mafuba. And, and after three turns, if they don't find a way to get rid of that card, um, it blows up like the field you know like like yours and their car like i don't know it that would be so freaking cool man um destructo disc uh 18 big bang vegeta 
Uh, looks like the one when he, yeah, the one he did on 19. Kamehameha Goku, Piccolo. I know Piccolo is going to be set 9. I Well, I not I know. I heard Piccolo is going to be set 9. Um, Gotenks, that's interesting. Yamcha, Krillin, probably extra cards. Hachiak. Okay, 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 okay. Let's read these effects. Yes, these are these are the new black cards. That's oh my god, black is just so meta nowadays. Um, I mean, but it's it's black with Toa. I haven't seen like black cards with anything else other than Toa and uh, Kid Goku. Like if it if, to see a, a meta Hachiak would be pretty damn accurate. <laughs> Seriously. Um, but yeah, this is this is actually not not bad. Here we go. Okay, all right. Hold on, hold on. Focus breakthrough does something. All right, it's an extra card. I cannot read that. If wait, if your leader card is something and it has a permanent, I cannot read this. No, baby evil origins, trunks brainwashed, Sun Goten brain. Oh my god! So it's just a whole brainwashed crew. That's so good. Okay, yes, yes, yes. I need to read this. Okay, Super Baby 2, Malicious Majesty. First off, it has Deflect. So you're not doing anything to it. Unless you got Mutaito, you're not... Unless you have Mutaito or... or I can't even say uh, the, the one Gohan that bounces back. Because that's... um That's uh, four drops or less. So... Yeah. Damn, man. You gotta have Mutaito to just... And, it, and this effect still goes off. That's what sucks. Well, for the opposing player, of course. Offering, when you play this card, your opponent may choose one card from their life and place it in their drop area. So they, they don't even get that. Like that, That's an immediate crit. Or you draw two cards. So if you can find a way to recycle this guy, this is just the greatest draw engine. Uh, activate battle once per turn. Choose three cards in your hand. Place them in your drop area. So that's why you're drawing the two cards. Because you're just going to dump them right back. Uh, then choose one card in your life and add it to your hand. Choose your opponent's leader card in all of their battle cards, and they get minus twenty thousand power, and have their non-keyword skills negated for the duration of the turn. Oh my god! He what? That is. Oh my god! So if he yeah, so because I'm thinking, I'm like. If, if he comes out, for, draw your two cards. I don't care. I'm not going to lose a, a life for you. Like, especially if I can't draw it. But if you if you let him draw those two cards and he and that activate battle goes off. Oh, man. That could, that could possibly end a turn. I'm not going to lie. Oh, my God. And, not, and have their non-keyword skills negated. That's so sad. That is so sad, man. Oh my god. That is so so sad. That that's hitting I think that's hitting Broly, right? Yeah, like if 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 it oh my god. So if if you're at the four drop Broly, and I'm pretty sure you could probably like get him like you don't need to spend five to get him on the field. I'm pretty sure there's another card. Like I see a uh if we look all the way to the left. It's it's so tiny. Um, let me see if I can use my mouse. Right here. This four drop. That's a four drop baby. So I'm guessing that's four drop super baby. And you could put overlay the, the super baby 2 onto him. And you could probably get the four drop with... Uh, it looks like it looks like a rival. I'm not going to lie. That red yellow right there. That looks like a rival. Or revive. whatever. Even though revive might only be for blue greens. Um, so there might be a new thing. Um, but that kind of looks like a rival to me. <coughs> so for two energy, you get him on the field. And he probably has... Yeah, so so I just saw this. It's... it's Oh my god, it's so tiny. But right there, there's something there in red text. And it's, it, it's a cost of one yellow. So you for two energy, you could probably get him on field. And this is probably like the evolution to get the five drop on top. And just you're 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 
you're in the lead. This is destroying Broly decks. Um, damn, man, that's crazy. That's crazy. And the thing is, when they attack, uh, I mean, well, well, wait a minute. I just thought of it. Yeah. Okay. So the thing is, the thing is, this is good against a four drop Broly, but not a six drop. So it's it's actually not gonna kill Broly's that hard. A six drop Broly is twenty five thousand power. So you're not gonna be able to kill them with this effect. You would have to. Um, okay. I, I kind of like. I can kind of visualize the play in my head now. Um, but a four, if a four drop Broly's on the field and you. To be honest, the way it's looking, a rival with two energy and then another uh, third energy, you can get this guy out on turn three. Uh, but Broly can get his eight drop out by turn two. Okay, so yeah, the, the play here would be use a, um, is that all you got? And then minus the Broly by 15. So now it's at 10 if it's a six drop Broly. If it's an eight drop, it's at it's at fifteen. So yeah, uh, eight drop roll is thirty thousand. So it wouldn't matter. Yeah, it wouldn't matter. Pretty much, um, even if it was at thirty five, it still wouldn't matter. It would have to be the secret rare, which is at forty. Uh, so you would use is that all you got? Negate the attack. Don't let the attack go through. No, but it still wouldn't matter. It still Broly would still pop him. Because he doesn't have barrier. So if, if the Broly attacks and you don't counter it. Um then then their combo phase goes first. So then they're able to activate their battle and pop your baby your super baby two before its effect goes off. The only way you can do it. Yeah, the only way this goes off is if uh, if it's on your turn. So you would have to find a way to neg the Broly just enough so that you can then activate this in the activate battle. And even even if they counter it, like you could attack with leader, like they would have to counter every single attack to prevent this activate battle from happening. But the second it goes off, like it's over for Broly. Broly's gonna have his skill negated. He's not going to evolve. Um, he's going to get popped as long as, once again, if you have something to neg it. All you need is something to neg it by 10,000. If you can if you can take away 10,000 attack, 10,000 power, um, and then use this, that's it for any Broly. It doesn't matter. Except for the Secret Rare. Oh no, if they have the secret rare, no, because the secret rare's effect is off of his card, not off of the 8-drop Broly. So it wouldn't even matter. So so this is only good for 4 and 6. Yeah, okay. Uh, that's still, that... Oh my god, that's that's kind of difficult, I'm not gonna lie. That's, that's, that's really... I mean... The I know I've been on this for so long. I'm sorry. We're gonna we're gonna continue. I, it's just I'm I when I first started Dragon Ball, my first deck was Broly, and like I just know that deck inside and out. Um, it's changed, so I'm sure I don't know it as much anymore. But the deck I ran was like my my life blood, my bloodline. You know, it was just I could read that like the back of my palm. Um, but no, man. So yeah, this is good for fours and six, but but they can get they can go to eight on turn two. They can even get like if 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 they play their cards right, they can get the secret rare out on turn two. Um Okay, well, you know what? It's still really really I'm just thinking Broly, of course. Like this is still really, really good against a lot of other decks. Um like any swarm deck, this is just math. It's just a huge massacre. Um. Okay. So. So. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We're gonna continue. We're going to continue. Son Goku. 
Sun, there we go, Sun Goku, right there, right there. Spirit of the Planet. Um, can't read it. Let's see if I can move. Can I move my? Yeah, there we go. Perfect. All right. Uh, energy exhaust, obviously. Um, I also that was another thing. I heard that Super Baby was able to negate his own energy exhaust, or I think that's Android Twenty One. I gotta read Twenty One. Um, okay. Sun Goku Spirit of the Planet. So this is a two drop fifteen hundred revive blue green. So if he dies, you when this card is KO, play this card and negate the skill for the duration of the turn of the turn. So he just comes back every turn at least once. Oh my god! I thought it was like duration of the game, man. It's the turn. No way. No. Okay. All right. Whatever. Permanent. You can't play this card from any area with skills. Wait, what? You can't play this card from any area with skills other than oh 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 with okay now I'm I, I was I thought it was I the the with skills part wasn't registering and I thought it was like you can't play from any area other than revive blue green okay so if uh uh like you can't do something to special something from the deck if there was a way I. I don't memorize every single Dragon Ball card, unfortunately. Um, you can't get it back from the... Can you even combo it from the graveyard? No, it would, that doesn't count as playing the card. Comboing the card doesn't count as playing. You can't play this card from any area with skills other than Revive Blue Green. So if I had the Trunks... Uh, with the sword, the I think constant hope or something like that. Um, and I attack and I use this card. Would it not work? I don't that that's interesting. Activate battle once per turn. You need a blue, you use a blue and green energy. This card gets plus 10,000 power and triple strike. For a two drop to, to be 25 and triple strike, that's ridiculous. What the fudge? Okay, alright, let's continue. Alright, we're finally, don't worry, we're finally off this page. Okay, yeah, he's gonna explain that. Um, evolving. Why is the, why is the text on that card just backwards? You, you guys see that, right? Hold on, let me, let me, now I gotta move myself over here. My hair is fabulous. Oh. This card is just straight up backwards. SS3 Sun Goku ever evolving. Like this, this, they just, <laughs> this is just straight up backwards. The, in, the entirety of it. And then it's, it's fine here. You see, you got the, the, the number in the right spot. You got the whole thing here. Um, I'm gonna assume the, you know, the energy cost is there. This card is straight up just been reversed for no apparent reason. SS3, uh, 4, SS4 Goku leader at the bottom. Let's go. Senses regained. Return of Planet Tuffle. Yes. Oh, and it's a desire card. Oh my god, I can already see people using uh, Super Baby with uh, Wish Leaders. Oh god. Up to two of your opponents blank and switch them to rest mode. So... Okay, so this is uh, switching things to rest mode. That's pretty cool. Potent technique, Vegeta. So this is Vegeta when he got the the freaking mustache. Um. Okay. All right. Let's continue. Uh, Super Baby One, All Consuming Terror. Okay. Okay. Baby the Overseer. Okay. Wait. Choose one yellow baby card in your blank. With an energy cost of one and place it in a blah, 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 play this card from your hand. Okay, so this is a card that can get special summoned. I'm guessing you evolve that into this one, possibly. Uh, brainwashed cards. Choose four brainwashed cards and place them under this card. Choose Malicious Majesty in your deck or uh, switch the card to act in active mode. Then... Oh my god, this is so difficult. And this card is still in reverse. 
Why is this card in reverse? This is where you place your reverse cards. I don't get it. That's so ridiculous. Okay. Okay, we got some stuff here. Sun Gohan calling for help. When you play this card, look it up to five cards. I think that's five. It's either two or five. I'm gonna well, I'm gonna say five. Um, from the top of your deck, choose up to one blue or green. Oh my god. Ah this it's it's this is so okay, so so what I'm trying to read, and I'm just gonna go up here now. What I'm trying to read is this card right here, and it's it's just impossible. Um, one blue or green, something or something. Uh, add it. Oh, then shuffle your deck. <laughs> that's all I. That's all I can read. Um, arrival, blue green. So this is. So there are rival blue greens. Okay, this is one of them. And it has an effect. Cool. There's a Whis down here. Awesome. Focus Breakthrough. KO Ken Goku. Alright. Cool. Cool. Let's continue. Yes. So there's... Here's the thing. There's like this... It, it... He... Oh my god. It's like SS4 Goku is here. But he feels so out of place. You know? Like he's just there for the baby. You know? It, it was like... um For set 7. Where it's like you have uh, old school Raditz, old school um, uh, Goku and Piccolo, old school Vegeta and Nappa, old school Broly, um, more movie, old school movie Broly, old school movie uh, Family Kamehameha, Gohan, Goten, Trunks, uh, well, Trunks was it, whatever. Trunks with it. Uh, Goku. There we go. That's what I want to say. <laughs> and and then, but then, like, out of just, then you had, like, the veggies with who? You know? Like, you had, um, Goku Black and Vegito. Which for here, I'm guessing, like the the, that's that's, like Super Saiyan Four and uh, Super Baby Two, and then Hachiok, the kind of random one to the side, which is like the veggies, which is like the random one to the side, and then you have your random leader, like Bulma, here, and Set Seven would be. Who's a random leader in Set? I wouldn't say Hit. Uh, no. A random leader in set seven. Man, I can't think of one. I mean, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure there was one. I just can't think of it off the top of my head. Nah, um, I'm sure there was one. Um, comments down below if if you know like one of those just random off base leaders. Um, like we have a Bulma now, which is just completely out of, out of the blue. Okay, but anyway, let's continue. Noble and ignoble. I'm not gonna lie, those villain cards look sick, alright? These look kinda cool. Eh. Like the, the yellow doesn't really, uh, I, don't, I don't know. I wish it would've went, I know, I know it's supposed to be like a Kamehameha. Uh, I wish I would have went with blue instead of yellow, or at least at least have their respective colors, you know. So like for Vegeta, that kind of looks like Final Flash, so the yellow works. Goku, blue, obviously. Green, uh, green, haha. <laughs> nah, Namekian, ha. <laughs> Piccolo, I guess you could keep it at yellow. A majority of a majority of his attacks are yellow. S is for Goku, red. Why is that yellow? No. Um, and then just everyone else in the bunch thrown together for the Hachiok, which makes sense. That's pretty cool. Um, Goku versus 21 and Vegeta versus Beerus. Okay. I love how Beerus isn't even trying. He's just like, all right, well, okay. Uh, but 
but those those like those at the bottom look so good like just i guess just the purple color just works so well with them you know purple usually like uh resembles evil and i just oh i love it i love it i love it it should have been purple and blue but whatever I, I, that's just or purple and red maybe I'm probably gonna try to Photoshop one of these. It's just, just to, it's gonna be a really crappy Photoshop, but just to like see how better it would have been. I'm, I'm not really digging the yellow. Probably like the only yellow I'm digging is the SS4, and that's only because um, like just the way the spiraling looks here. It, it looks really, really nice. This one's also pretty nice too. Um, the Vegeta isn't that crazy. Oh, once again, I have to move myself. The Vegeta is okay. It's not that crazy. The Goku's uh, the Piccolo's kind of uh. This is great. This is okay. Anyway, let's continue. Okay. Okay, the SCRs are here. All right. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's Vegeta. Oh, my God. We are getting a secret rare SS4 Vegeta. Yes. 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 Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I wonder what he does. He's going to be blue-green. He's, he's probably going to be blue-green because SS4 uh, Goku was red. He has to be blue-green. Oh, my God. Or it could be. It could be. Uh, okay. Okay. Here are my thoughts. It's going to be... In, in, terms of, in terms of one, two, and three, right? One being, like, my, my, my biggest wish. I, I hope it's that. Oh, my God. That will be amazing. Second would be, I I definitely accept that, and third would be okay. Like, all right. Um, third would be Secret Rare SS4 Vegeta and Goku in the same card. The second, I'm gonna get back to three, but second is going to be SS4 Vegeta alone. And you may be wondering, why would I like? Why would I say? Both of them together would be lesser than just one of them because you only had one of them for for uh, Goku. You know, Goku gets his whole card all to himself. Vegeta keeps getting screwed around. He he's in this SS3 scramble with all these other characters, which is cool. Um, but it's like it's like oh, we have a new SCR and it's Vegeta, but Goku has to be with him. That's the only way. He's not getting his own card. Like, no. Give this man respect. Vegeta is an awesome character. Let him have his own SCR. Okay. Now I'm going to really contradict contradict myself. Okay. Um, so, number three. Both of them. SS4, Goku, and Vegeta. Number two. Just Vegeta. Number one. Contradiction, but my god, this would be amazing. SS4, Goku, and Vegeta. <laughs> But in the background is SS4 Gogeta. And it's an SS4 Gogeta card. Oh, my heart. Oh, please, please. I'll accept the SS4 Vegeta. Screw it. I'll accept SS4 Gogeta and Goku, whatever. Oh, my God. If it's SS4 Goku and Vegeta with Gogeta in the background. Mwah, magnifique. Please. Let's. Okay. All right. I'm going crazy. I'm sorry. Let's continue. So you, so that, that's the ape in the background. That is so sick. Okay. Now that looks like, that looks like an entirely different card. That's Vegeta, but it looks like blue. Either blue or base form. The lighting is really screwing everything up. I can't, oh man. Is this, is this going to be just like straight up Vegeta's? And they're like, you... You're telling us we screw up, uh, screw over Vegeta? Well, now you're gonna get three Vegetas! Imagine? That's, I mean, that's gonna be overkill. I don't want three Vegetas. That's, that's ridiculous. You already gave us a Vegeta on set seven. I'm just asking for one Vegeta secret rare. Uh, I mean, that's clearly Vegeta. I love how they just like throw the, the, the headline, the hairline, just right in your face. Okay. Yes. That's the pants. That's Vegeta. Okay. Or is it? Or is the lighting like screwing me up so much that this is all one card? Because that looks like... 
Hold on, hold on. Like, I get... Oh, God. I don't know how to freaking pause. Because, okay, so the thing is... This looks like right here. You see the yellow here? And now I have to move myself once again. I am just the king of moving myself. The, ye the yellow here, here, and here. This all looks like the dragon in the next shot. See, right here. Or or not the dragon. I said dragon. The ape. Um, this looks like the ape. The, 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 I guess, golden great ape. Um, but this looks, this, this one's throwing me off, man. This, this one looks like blue. This looks like SS blue or, or just base. Now nah, this is, uh, okay. The reason why I say it could be base form is because the eyebrow here looks way too dark, but it still has that like greenish bluish tint, um, which could be SS blue, but with like some serious, seriously funky lighting. No, no, wait! Wow, that's all I had to do. I'm such an idiot. That's... <laughs> that's base form. That's base form Vegeta. What the hell is this card? Oh my god. Three secret rares, the most ever! The most ever! Alright, this is pretty cool. Paras Parasitic Overlord and Android Duality. I, when I first saw that, um, because I, I think like a couple days ago, this got released and I thought this was Android quality and I'm like that is that is such a stupid ass name <laughs> no but Android duality okay ooh duality 17 and 18 parasitic overlord that's pretty cool that is super baby 2 has dual attack already what the frick so first off when when this card I'm guessing attacks Auto once per turn, you know, draw. Oh, okay. Oh, it's an auto once per turn because it has dual attack. Okay, that's... Damn, a leader that has dual attack? What the hell? Nah, that that's busted. <laughs> that's so busted. What the hell? A leader that has dual attack. I mean, that looks like the... Yeah, that's the awakened side. You can tell by the... Uh, right here, the tiny green. But that... Damn, what? Like, double double strike. Okay, that, that hurts. That really does. I know go, the Gogeta promo has double strike. Um, a majority of Gogeta leaders have double strike. Um, But at least with that, you can negate it, you know? But dual attack? You'd have to use two negates. I mean, you would, you would out combo, but... It's like if you negate the first one... And you, you don't want to... Like, you're going to get hit by one of them. Ah, oh, man. I, I've always seen dual attack as a... Dual attack and triple attack, I feel, is just way more... Like, just way more deadlier than um, double strike, triple strike. Because, because with double strike, triple strike, you're cashing in all your chips, you know? If they counter that, your double, triple strike becomes nothing. But if they counter a dual or triple attack... Um, that's like, they, they still got attacks to go and it's, it's way more deadlier. Um, of course, like, like, like the only situation where, where a double or triple strike is above dual and triple attack is when, um, like they use flying Nimbus and, and limit your attacks. Other than that, I don't, I just don't see it happening. Okay. That's pretty cool. That's yes. Okay. 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 Yes. Okay. Activate main once per turn. Choose one card from your life. Add it to your hand. Switch this card to active mode. So he gets Dolan. <laughs> he self awakens. He self awakens and gets dual attack off of it. What does that even mean? When. You Oh my god, that awaken. No, that's ridiculous. Wait, when your life is at two or less, you may draw two cards, then choose up to. I'm gonna pray and say that's one. Two! No, it's two! 
Oh, man. You're really gambling with this leader. You are really gambling with this leader. You get to draw two cards and and uh, restand two of your energies. But you have to be at two lives, man. That's dangerous. What the hell? Okay, Super Baby 2, Vengeful Rampage. Uh, EX Evolve. Yes, 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 yes. This isn't the one, though, is it? No, it's not the one that that just, you know, just uh, nukes everyone for minus 20. Um, but, okay, EX Evolve off of a yellow baby with an energy cost of 3, which is the one over there. The one right here. All right. Okay. It has offering, of course. What else is new? When you play these cards, choose all of your opponent's battle cards, ignoring barrier. And for the duration of the turn, their skills are negated. And they can't be placed in a combo area from your opponent's battle area. This is a, yeah, this is a strong finisher card right here. Like, you're, I mean, not, not, it's not that strong, but it's, it's pretty crazy. Um, this card gains dual attack for the duration of the turn. Yeah, this, this is pretty freaking crazy. Because they they can't combo out with if if they're a swarm deck, it's not it's not gonna happen. Um, but this, this is a nice a nice finisher. I wouldn't say that strong, but it, it is a nice one. SS3 Sun Goku, the last straw. A, an SS3 Goku that's a one drop is amazing. That's wild. Choose one card in your life, add it to your hand. When this card attacks, it gets plus ten thousand power and double strike for the duration of the turn. Interesting, interesting. Um. That's gotta, that's like that. This has to be something that goes into, uh, um, cause this reminds me of the Kaba that gets double strike when you take a life. But when does this go off? Does this go off immediately when it's played? Choose one card in your life and add it to your hand I, I would assume so it's an auto when this card attacks so you you have to um you have to do this this isn't like the the cabo where you have a choice for this card you must take that life and then when this card attacks it gets plus 10,000 power and double strike um okay that's that's interesting battle to the death Extra card that's a red, yellow. Oh god, red, yellow. That's scary. Um, what well, I, I love how I just processed that now, and it's like the baby has was red, yellow from the beginning of this video. Um, activate main. If your leader card is yellow, choose up to three cards, and that is a yellow baby Vegeta. Uh, choose up to three cards in your life, add them to your hand. So this is a heavy cost. Then choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards, ignoring barrier. And it gets minus 25,000 power for the duration of the turn. That is interesting, but it's not going to take out the heaviest of hitters. Like, it's not going to stop the Vegito. It's not going to stop the Broly, 8-drop uh, Broly, the 8-drop Vegito. It's not going to stop... Will it stop Mirror? Yeah, I think it stops Mirror. No, but it wouldn't matter. It wouldn't it wouldn't matter if mirror just gets like overwhelmed um the seven drop one but if they use it with the five drop mirror you can't yeah you can get rid of that but you'd have to sacrifice three lives um i think this takes out the seven drop broly as well i i mean not broly uh gogeta that pesky seven drop gogeta everyone hates but you'd have to sacrifice Three lives. Oh my god. Super Baby won the Conqueror. Okay. Only one Super Baby won the Conqueror can be played in your battle area battle, blah, 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 battle area. If your leader card is yellow, is is a yellow baby card, and your opponent has added a total of two or more cards from their life to their hand or drop area this turn, play this card from your hand. Oh, uh, 
Um, okay, okay, I see the play. So, so, okay, so he, okay, so, so the card I was reading was, let's move myself over here. The card I was reading was this one. This one goes in conjunction with this card. So pretty much, um, but at the same time, not really, because they could choose not to take the light. I mean, if you hit them, if you hit them twice, if you hit them twice, this guy comes out for free. That's, that's incredible. Um... I would say this is like mid, like early, early to mid game card. This is something you really want to have early to mid game, and not turn turn one necessarily, um, but definitely turn two. Turn two, you hit them twice, they're gonna take it. You know, like it's way too early, um, and you just drop this guy for free. It's pretty good. It's pretty darn good. Let's continue. Nice, nice. Android duality. There we go. Oh my god, this is so much. I'm gonna be quick because I'm sure this video has gone on for, for I don't even know how long. Um, yeah, I have no timer anywhere. I have no idea how long this video is. Oh, Android 21, when this card attacks, draw one card, awaken. When you have a blue green multicolor card in your energy and your life is at six or less. So this is like Kid Ku. Uh, you may draw one card. Then choose up to one of your energy, switch this card to active mode, flip this card over. I feel like this card's this this uh leader is gonna be so meta. So freaking meta. But at the same time, I don't think this is gonna be like an uh, I think they're gonna disrespect 21. I th they're gonna disrespect 21 the same way they disrespected Raditz. You're gonna have a Raditz leader and like two to two two to three Raditz battle cards at best with a Raditz uh, extra card. That is exactly what it's looking here. You know, you got two uh, Android 21 extra cards, two Android 21 battle cards, and then everything else is going to be 16, 17, 18. And an Android 21 lead. Like, it's not, it's not going to be like super Android 21-ish. It's going to have some stuff to it. But whatever, whatever. Okay. Uh, so this four drop one uh, is a blocker. And she doesn't... Yo! <laughs> Yo, she doesn't have energy exhaust. This is the card. This is the card. Oh, my God. Oh, no. But you know what? I bet you she's super important and you're going to need her. So you're not going to want to use her as energy. But if there's a, uh, a situation where you're going to have to use her, you have the benefit of not getting hit with energy exhaust. That is nuts, man. I thought all Android 21 cards were going to ha not have energy exhaust. No, it's just the one. But okay. When you play this card from your hand, uh, look it up to seven cards from the top of your deck. Top of your deck. Choose up to one card among them and place it in your energy. That's pretty good. Um, in rest mode, shuffle your deck. Then choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and KO it. That's very good. And you can't play battle cards with power between 30 to, what 30 to 3500 for the duration of the game what <laughs> what wait so it's got to be 25 or 4000 or uh, 25 or 40000 that's nuts what the hell i mean if that's how the deck runs, you know, like, you just can't put anything spicy that's 30 or 35,000. But that's, it's, it's interesting, it's interesting. Up, uh, predation. Energy exhaust, draw two cards. Then choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards with an energy cost of one and KO it. That looks trash. I'm sorry, that looks so trash. This is literally just like... A one-up from that Kefla's Fury card, where it's like spe uh, use two energy, draw two cards. That's it. That's that's what Kefla's Fury does. It's it's terrible. It's it's a. I don't, I've never seen anyone use that card in a deck ever. Um, I can't even imagine seeing that card being used. But this is like one one step up. It's still not doing it for me. Like. Maybe if it was like, choose up to a battle card, 
cost of one ignore barrier or cost of because that would just destroy slug you know it, it, it's it, wings wings is done for i'm sorry um or at least energy cost of two or less like come on man android 21 a bad omen okay whatever <clears throat> awaken uh no activate main Play this card from your energy area. Oh, so it's like, it's it's a little boo-ish. I mean, she looks like boo, to be honest. Um, play this card from your energy area. When this, wait. Oh my God, auto. When this card from your energy, no. Choose one card from your energy and place it in your drop area. When you play this card, Choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and up to one card in your opponent's life and place them in the owner's drop areas. That's pretty cool. So, you, okay. The problem is, is that you, oh man, you gotta waste, you gotta dump two energies for this to, to work. But at the same time, that is pretty sweet. You got that that Android 21 just hiding there. This is definitely a late game card. <coughs> you got that Android 21 hiding there and they're they're down to their last life. And you play this card. <clears throat> um and they there's like you they they can't use um uh what's that card? The hope card. Denial of hope. They can't use denial of hope. They can't use, you know, Mutaito isn't going to do anything. Um, they could use the Cold Bloodlust. Not the Cold, the new Cold Bloodlust. The Poison, Frost, Frost Poison card. They could use that and negate the skill. Um, but they would need two energy for that. That's if they have two energy. Um, but yeah, if they're, in, if they're on that one life, four energy, play that card. Boom, boom. Um... I can't I can't think think of a card that could stop this if they're at one energy. If they're at two I still can't think of a card that could stop this. <laughs> I I can't. Um Yeah, no, nah, it's it's not happening. And it and it's a five as well. It's not a four. So it's not like they could uh bounce it back with um your wide I think it's called your wide open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're wide open. Uh, four drop or less. Bounce it back to the hand. Or bounce it to the hand, I suppose. Instead of it being played. They can't do that because it's four. They can't denial of hope because it's 25. So it's literally reaching the requirements to avoid just all those counterplay cards. So if that's in the energy, you are going to dump two energy. But even if they're at two lives, you know, like... If you can hit them with the leader and and then and then you get that one life out, you you do this and just end the game. So it's it's a pretty good card. It really is. Photon wave, four energy. What the hell does this do for me? Does this get me like golden Mariah Carey tickets? Four energy. Draw one card, then choose. Oh god. I have glasses and this is so difficult. Choose all? I think that's all. I'm not gonna lie, that looks like all. Choose all of your opponent's battle cards and return them to their owner's hands. So it's cool because it's the photon wave where she just she just takes out the whole field. Or in Fighter Z, that's what it looks like. Um draw one card and just choose all of your opponent's battle cards and just send them away. That's neat. For four energy, it is pricey, but that's neat. If it's a swarm deck, that's pretty good. Ish, not really. <laughs> I'm sorry, four energy is too much. Maybe at three, I'd say this card is amazing. Well, I'd say this card. If no, okay, okay. If it's at three, this card is very good. If it's at two, this card needs to get banned. If it's at four, that <sighs> because it's like okay, turn four, right? You use this card. You just wasted all your energy to bounce back their cards that they're going to put back when you win your turn because you used up all your energy. You know, like... Well, 
What for? And then and then if the cards have barrier, it's not Photon Wave isn't gonna do anything. Nah, actually this card is dog shit. Uh excuse my French. This card is terrible. Sorry. <clears throat> okay, so we went we went uh up here to the right. So we're gonna go to 16 and then one six 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 sixteen. Sixteen. And then we're gonna go to this card right here that's being hidden, Android 17. Um, okay, so Android 16, Mechanical Prowess, 3-drop. It's a blocker, nice. Uh, only one can be played. When a card in your energy is placed in your drop area by... Oh my god. By blank of your skills. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm... I'm guessing that's one of your skills. You may place this card. You may play this card from your hand. So this goes off with the 21. Oh. Oh, what just happened? My screen just, just went to screensaver mode. Because I haven't moved the mouse in so long. Um. Oh my god. I just noticed I had this full cup of soda and it's flat. The tiniest bit of fizz. So so it's good. It's okay. <clears throat> so So this is like a, a defense mechanism. Mechanical prowess. Haha. <laughs> um if you if you go with the 21 and something happens where it just doesn't work, you play the 16 for free. And it's a blocker. But that's guarding one attack. I mean, come on. Come on. That's not. I don't know. I don't know to be honest. Uh, <clears throat> Knight Might of the Red Ribbon Army. Activate main. Draw one card. Other activate main. Choose one blue green multicolor card in your energy. And I, I gotta like constantly like move around to figure this out. Um and. Something in your hand. Oh my god, I can do this. Hold on. Choose one blue-green multicolored card in your energy. Add it to your hand. Okay. <clears throat> then... Then... Move this card in your drop area from the game choose one card in your hand and place it in your energy in rest okay so <clears throat> what this does is you tap one uh it's it's sketchy you tap one you draw a card And then you activate this card's main in the drop area. It's second main. And it allows you to like <clears throat> switch one of your blue green cards for a different card. And I'm guessing this next Android 16 is going to have something to do with being in the uh energy maybe it has revive so that that's cancer um choose one blue green card blue green multicolor card in your energy place it in your drop area play this card from your hand you're dumping energy for this deck you are like literally dumping energy and it's like what blue green what blue green card you know I guess the Android 21, since it doesn't have energy exhaust. The 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 beautiful scientist, not a bad omen. The bad omen, you want to have it in your energy. Um, I'm not gonna lie, this this deck is a little funky, to be honest. And not only that, I've never played uh, Android an Android deck, so, and I know they're pretty good. 
so like i don't know how to incorporate this with other android decks i might i might try out an android deck choose one blue green multicolor card in your energy place it in your drop area play this card in from your hand so you play it for free and it, it can just revive itself over and over and over <clears throat> which is kind of cool but you'd have to dump two cards every time it dies but is there something it can do with something else i, I don't uh okay so then okay 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 so pretty much when you play i just realized that when you play this 16 the other 16 the, when you play this 16 the other i'm gonna do, i'm gonna do this the right way hold on when you play this 16 this 16 goes off all right there we go perfect um might as well leave myself there Uh, when a card in your energy is placed in the drop area, you may play this card from your hand. So this goes off for free when you use this card's effect. You don't have to go for this one. You can just, without even spending energy, you can just... Yeah, this is actually pretty crazy. You get a free blocker and you get this card for, for dumping. And mind you, this is dumping an energy. So you may use the energy, then dump it afterwards. So that's... Okay, now I'm starting to visualize this, this deck a little more. It's actually pretty cool. Uh, Android 18 and 17. Okay, so Android 18 is a battle card. If you have a blue-green multicolor card in your energy, when you combo with this card, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards with an energy cost of one and return it uh, to its owner's hand. Not that crazy. Not gonna lie. That is not crazy whatsoever. Um, but let's let's go to 17. When you play this card. I'm gonna assume it says look look at up to five cards from the top of your deck. Choose up to one blue, green, android card among them. Add it to your hand. Shuffle your deck. Then choose up to one card in your hand and place it in the drop area. So he's a searcher, um, but he's not that crazy. Like the the veggies could search for free. You you search. Um, I think one of the veggies searches and plays it at the same time. Like that's that's nuts. Um, but this one you have to search and then dump a card, which is, eh. And the thing is, it has to be a blue-green android. So, if it's not this 16, or this 21, or these two 21s, like, it, it's over. It's not, it's not happening. Eh. Uh, I mean, to be honest, I'd probably run four of this 16. This 16 is pretty wild. And four of the other 16. You have these two cards in your hand. It's... Stuff's happening. Okay. I think we're good. I think we're good here. All right. Okay. All right. Oh, new. Okay. Wait. No, it's not new. It's, it's, it's the same card. The leader... That's new. Okay. The leader is... So, it's like Kid Goku. It comes out at 6. And every time you attack, you draw a card. Pretty nice. Um, permanent. You can't play battle cards with an original cost of... I'm going to say that's 6 or more. But then again, the deck runs at 5. Yeah. Like, this is... Okay. Um... So this is this is a limiter. This deck uh, limits you from playing anything higher than um, a certain time. I think Frieza does that as well. Auto once per turn when a card in your energy is placed. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> when uh, when a card in your energy is placed in your drop area by one of your skills, which is the 16 or the 21. Um, draw one card. Then choose up to one blue green multicolor card in your drop area and add it to your energy in rest mode. No way. 
Wait, 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 wait. So you just get them all for free? Oh my god, this this deck's gonna be broken, man. You get hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold the phone. So the 21. is free <sighs> wait a minute <laughs> wait a minute So the 20, okay, you use the beautiful scientist to get, okay, you use the, I'm going to do this again. You use the beautiful scientist to search for the bad omen 21. And when you do, you put the 21, the bad omen 21 in your energy and rest mode from the beautiful scientist, which I'm not going to lie, four energy, that sucks, man. I understand that you can you can uh, pop any battle card, which is nice, but then you can't play any battle cards for between 30 to 35 for the duration of the game, which just locks you even more. I understand like anything six and higher, but it's like if you want to like uh, I don't know that is oh all right um. And not only that, her effect only goes off when you play this card from your hand. So you can't do like some foo foo shiznit and like get her from the graveyard to field her or just anything. Like it's not happening. It has to be from the hand. She's a terrible, she's a blocker. I'll tell this, I don't know, this card sucks, man. I'm sorry. It really does. I understand you get the four, like you're spending four cash to search for her. But to be honest, I'd rather just run four of these bad omens. You do not need this 21. You don't. For two energy, you can banish one of their battle cards with Banish Your Foo. You know, yeah, you would have to Overrealm. Um, which kind of hurts this deck because this deck does search. does It does a little bit of something, something from the graveyard. These two cards at the bottom, right? here and here these two cards um so it, it does hurt a little um but you do not need to spend an extra two energy to just pop a card and get a crappy like if it was a 25 blocker 25k blocker even a 20k blocker you know oh man that would be sick because this this can get hit with anything this for gotta do it gotta do it this four drop can get hit with anything uh uh denial of hope uh, is uh, not a, is that all you got could well i mean it's auto would still go off um uh uh obviously the 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 poison thing and this is an effect. This isn't like an activate main once per turn thing. This is an auto when you play. It's so restrictive. And then it and then when it activates, it restricts you even more. Nah, this this card this card is terrible, man. This card sucks. I understand. Like, yeah, no, I understand that it is a a blue green. Like you would okay, you would run four of these to charge it. You would never run use this effect. Like like almost never. Because if you use all four energy, let's say they're at one life. If you use all four energy, cool, you got the 21 in the energy pile where you need it. But like at, at turn four, if you don't have 21, that's a bad omen. <laughs> it truly is. That is a freaking bad, bad omen, man. If you do not have this 21 uh, by turn four, that's crazy. You, you don't need this, this, the other 21 for that. You don't. You spend the four and you won't be able to use the four 
for the 21 to activate main, you'd have to wait next turn. Not only that, if it's turn 4, you just spent all your cash. Nah, I don't... Nah. You would use this to, just to charge. Like, this is, this is a wonderful card, but this is like Beerus. The blue-yellow Beerus. If you drew this card, charge it. That's it. Alright, um, uh, let's continue. Yes. And this, okay, so this, this leader gets everything back. Um, let me just read it one more time. When a card in your energy is placed uh, in your drop area by one of your skills, draw one card. So you, you're, you're, okay, this is the only, I thought like every time you attack, you draw a card. No, you, you have to like do one of these skills to draw that card that turn, but that's, it's still really good. Uh, because the, 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 the seven, 16, the 16, it's, you're, you're literally getting that 16 out and the blocker out for free. You know, you're, you're doing the whole dump an energy thing. And that's after, of course, after you use the energy, you dump the energy, you get the energy back and draw a card and special summon two cards for free. That's nuts. Um... Add it to your energy and rest mode uh, at the st and then and then what what go what gets even crazier at the start of your opponent's next main phase, choose up to one blue green multicolor card in your energy and switch it to active mode. So you it's free, it's free. This oh my god oh my god, it's it's so funny how this leader reminds me of uh, the Vegito leader, the SS Blue Vegito leader from Set Seven, and it is so. Both of them are so ultra specific, but this is is specific and useful as hell. Oh my god, I love this card. I love it so much. It's so good. It's it's I don't know what to say. It's so freaking good. Where the Vegeta one is like, oh, when it awakens, you draw a card. You draw first off. What what do you get when this awakens? I think you draw two cards, and then you 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 awaken so early too. That's nuts. You awaken at six when you have a blue green multicolor card. So yeah, th th this runs this deck runs around blue green multicolor. So you're gonna have to run four of this Android twenty one. It's a necessity. Um, four of her, four of the other Android twenty one. Don't ever run this photon wave. Uh, four sixteens, four sixteens. Um, these two cards are kind of trashed. Maybe, maybe the 17 for that search power. Yeah, you do dump a card, but it's still, you know, it's, it's good search. Um, this one drop, what, what does this one drop do again? You draw a card and then when it's in there, choose one blue green multicolor card in your energy. Add it to your hand. Uh, hold on. Choose one blue green multicolor card in your energy placing. Your, okay, hold on, hold on. N okay, add it to your hand, then remove this card from the drop area. Choose one card in your hand and place it in your energy and rest well. Yeah, no, this this card is weird. This like the only the only thing I could think of with this card is for the the bad omen one where it's like, oh, you just drew into the bad omen like somehow. Uh, like like with with the ultra specific 21, you know you you use the uh, 16 to dump an energy to special summon uh, the other uh, to play special summon the other 16, and and because that went off your leader who should be awakened already, um, if not, you know skip that whole thing. But the whole point was to draw a card. But whatever, it, whether you draw a card from Android 21 leader front or the awakened side. This, that's the only point of this card, Might of the Red Ribbon Army. Army, So you can, for that ultra, ultra rare occurrence where you do not have her in your energy and, and you draw her through the leader, um, or, or through the, through the Might of Red Ribbon, because you do draw off, off of Might. It, this is way too specific, and I just at the moment I'm I'm sure there's something else for this. If you have a blue green multicolor card in your energy, when you combo with this card, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards. And you go, yeah, no, this this Android 18 does nothing. Um, might there's probably more Android cards that are that would work well. I once again I don't know Androids, 
Oh, I should have I should have studied androids. But it's fine, it's whatever. Um Choose one Nah, it, you're just replace it's just to replace a card with the 21 card. And and let's say you have all your and well technically you wouldn't have all your energy. Um And 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 then it has to be a blue green too. So so pretty much it would have to be this 16 in your energy. Or this 21 in your energy. And then you would put this 21 in the energy. Like when you take this and put it in your hand. Um That sucks. <laughs> that <sighs> Okay, okay. I thought of a play. I thought of a play. Um But it's it's so ultra specific. Um, okay, so you would use Android 21, the beautiful scientist. Like you, you would have her, you would, you would charge with her and she doesn't have energy exhaust. So you get the free charge without her being in rest mode. Then, um, you use might of the red ribbon army to you would you would tap the 21 to use might of the red rim and army and draw a card off so this is an early game card what you would need in your hand is one four drop 21 one five drop 21 and one might of the red ribbon army so you would play that you would charge with the four use the the one drop to draw a card and then switch out the four for the 21 in rest mode but it doesn't matter because even if you didn't put it in rest mode um it's going to be in rest due to energy exhaust so you get the free draw te technically not really the free draw but it's like a weird way of getting the free um like a second turn of a free charge because you're putting this 21 not the bad omen but the other one beautiful scientist back in your hand so that the next turn you can charge again without needing energy exhaust so now you have two blue greens in your in your energy without um without uh uh energy exhaust affecting you that's a pretty neat combo i'm gonna love this deck oh my god but that is a little that's a little it's a little hard because Like that's what that's that's the whole point of it. It negates the energy exhaust. But it's you gotta have the three cards in your hand. Like if you're off one of these cards. I mean the most important one is 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 uh, technically the most important one is Android 21, the the, the beautiful scientist. You always want to have that free charge. Um But if you don't have might of the red ribbon actually wait i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry it doesn't have to be 21 a bad omen i just realized that it could be any blue green so so you have to get these two cards the 21 beautiful scientists and the might of red ribbon army if you have those two cards you can negate um energy exhaust for a turn that's nice that's pretty nice okay Cool. And then you can use like so. Let's say let's say um. Let's say. Like you don't have twenty one, the beautiful scientist. You can still um charge with something else, and then use that one energy to use Android seventeen to search for the twenty one. Like let's say you have the might of Red Ribbon Army in your hand, but not the twenty-one. Search with the seventeen to get to grab that, and the next turn you can negate the energy exhaust, and it's 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 a beautiful day. It's definitely a beautiful day. All right. Even better. And then this leader is stupid, man. It's so stupid. What the hell? When a card is in your energy, you just oh my, I'm not reading again. It's so stupid. It's so stupid. Everything becomes free. Everything in this deck becomes free. We gotta pass this. We, no. Okay, we're here. Okay, cool. 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 So they're just... This is promotion. 
These look very nice. Freaking seven star Dragon Ball. Are you kidding me? Seven star. Um, awesome 16 card. Very, very cool. Uh, Hachiak looking sweet. Uh, Beerus. Red, yellow. Interesting. Uh, that's, yeah, it's, that's gonna somehow be in conjunction with the baby deck. And then this is this. Okay, alright, we're done here. My god, oh my god, I'm so sorry this video. Awesome. This video went on way too long. I'm just trying to figure out these combos, you know. This uh, set 8 is going to be nuts, man. And they are doing it in November when Black Friday's out. Like, come on, at least give me the sales. They're going to do it full price. You know they're going to sell it full price. Oh my god, man. Like, why you got to give this to me in November? You couldn't have done it in uh, December? Couldn't have done it in October? Well, no, October we're getting the uh, Magnificent Collection. We couldn't have done it in December? You really had to do it in November? Oh. oh man. I haven't done a video in a while. I can't believe this this clip of set eight was four minutes long. And I have I've spoken for at least oh I know this video is over an hour at least. Wow, that's that's incredible. My my love for this game is incredible. All right, but anyway, uh, we're gonna stop it here. <laughs> if you've reached this far, thank you very much. I uh, let me know. Let me know what you think. Seriously, uh, I, as you can tell, I love talking about this game. Um, so I love to read you. I would love to read your comments below, and I will see you guys in the next video. All right. Take care.